Welcome, friends, family, to a special episode of our great Thanksgiving. Let's gather around the table, share secrets, lies, some blood, snap some necks. Let's have ourselves a great Thanksgiving. I'm ready to get my grub on. Right, right, right. You are ready to get your grub on. But first, we must conversate. Okay. We must conversate, and then we must talk some more. Uh, Snap some necks. Okay. Tell some lies. Find some bodies. This sounds like we about to review the Vampire Diaries. No, no, it's the originals. This, this is all that happened. That was originally. a lot of neck snapping. It was a lot of neck snapping. Like the Vampire Diaries. No, no, no. I think it was just one neck snap. Hmm. No, no, it was there was more than one neck snap actually. Ah, I will remember. Oh, uh, what's going on, guys? It's your boy X here, and the one and only Christopher. And we're the go-to guys today. We're bringing you the originals, episode seven, out of the easy. I gotta say, the way Klaus snap necks are completely different from how Damon does it. Well, how he did the Lucian, it looked like he snapped his neck from just hitting you. Yeah, you mean Tristan? Tristan, I'm sorry, yeah, just, just, just did that. I mean, the way Klaus does it, like, effortlessly, he yeah. snaps necks. He pretty much took his hand and thrusted it upward. <laughs> I've never his, seen somebody his just, neck get snapped like that. How would you describe that? Like an uppercut, like if, a you uppercut just, if you just slap snap. somebody's chin yeah. up. Because <laughs> he just went... <laughs> <laughs> I think that goes in. If somebody had a top 10 list of neck snaps, that would be up there somewhere. Yeah, I guess it would. <laughs> Alright, let's get So, we're about to give y'all our top moments of the episode. Oh, wow. I mean, I mean, really, the whole episode revolved around that table yeah. and a couple other things. But let's go ahead and get into it. I guess we'll start with the uh, Davina getting Sean. Wow, didn't see that yeah, coming. Pretty, felt kind of sorry for her. Yeah, yeah. I think she was getting that, that power was getting to her head a little bit. Because, you know, I mean, but what I mean by that is like, you know, people were warning her about stuff yeah. and she doesn't, you know, she wouldn't listen to them. Yeah. So basically, um, yeah. Yeah, you know, Marcel goes to her and tells her that, um, think <laughs> Marcel goes to her and tells her that, you know, the Stricks, that the Stricks are going to come after her mm -hmm. and ask her to help her with the weapon. If she says, if she says no, they're going to kill her. If she says yes, Klaus is going to do something. Don't know what would be worse than death. I, didn't, I don't know. I didn't know that either. Torture? I don't think that'd be worse than death. That's no. I mean, you can come back from torture. Death, you're, you're dead. Eh, eh, but okay, yeah. Unless you were somebody <laughs> special. <laughs> but yeah, so she doesn't listen to him at all. Mm -hmm. So he goes to Vincent and he's trying to, you know. Fucking Vincent. Fucking Vincent. He, he's like, you know, trying to see what Vincent can do. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking he's, well, well, he did. He tried to talk to her, I guess, first. But I don't, I don't think that was him trying to touch. I think that was just a setup all the beginning. Oh yeah, because I forgot that the yeah, other um, that little I don't know what is that like a dream. Like it looked a like dream a catcher, dream but catcher, but it's more like it's a more fucking like a, 808's beats. Yeah, it's awesome. like a, a beats, 808's beat <laughs> speak that's Bluetooth to another one that could be somewhere else and everyone could hear you. Jeez, that's a good yeah. ass uh, so invention. He, whoever he, made. he pretty much became 007 mm. and kind of just aired what uh, aired out her laundry about her killing that uh, Asian mm -hmm. dude's mom and uh, some other witches when mm -hmm. they tried to revolt against her. Surprise, surprise. And with that dream catcher 808 beat, that's what we gonna call it, dream catcher 808 beat. Mm -hmm. With that, the other witches in her covenant were able to hear her confess. And so, I, what's yeah. the rule? You, once you kill a witch, you must be exiled from the group. Shunned, yeah. Shunned from that the power of the ancestors and from the power i guess that new orleans itself has so yeah. i mean the shit the way they were screaming i think actually they were saying kill her also i don't know but then if, i guess if they did kill her then they'd be exiled too right uh, i guess hmm. i guess but hmm. it's kind of like a 
double standard. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but okay, yeah, but they exiled her and right. she got her powers. Well, I guess her ancestor powers took from her. Yeah. Don't know exactly what happened in that scene. She it, it, to me it looked like she was like all the ancestor power that she had was, you know, just being taken away from her. Right, and to me it looked like she was on ecstasy. But that's yeah, yeah I don't yeah. That was it. I mean she yeah, she <laughs> It looked like she she's about to be in a hard predicament. Cause yeah. she's looking sad at that bar. Like she had nowhere to go. Like she might be living on the street corner or something. And I can't believe uh <laughs> can't believe Marcel thinks Vincent's gonna get through to her after that. Another thing I wanna know is you know, they haven't usually like did her and I forgot the other character, the the vampire that was gay. They were like best friends. Oh, uh, like did, his did name something was. happen between them? Cause they used to, you know, have them always together or something. Mm. Maybe, maybe because she stopped fucking with the vampires. I think that, that she just one. stopped fucking with him too. I just, I just. But they haven't mentioned that. that at all. Yeah, I they forgot have. about him. I mean, cause he, I mean, he's in the season, but yeah, they, he's there. But like I said, time. they're never to. They don't have them together like they used to be. So I'm thinking, she just now that she's ahead of that covenant that she just don't fuck with them because mm -hmm. it seems like every time marcel comes around she doesn't really want to be around him either so mm -hmm. well maybe she'll yeah maybe she'll start talking well, I guess back she'll to them she, she, no <laughs> she ain't got no choice yep. oh man well another top mom we're gonna slide right into this one the thanksgiving meal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so elijah and klaus they invite over Tristan, Aurora, Lucian mm -hmm. over for a Thanksgiving meal. And the messed up thing was, Klaus and Elijah told them right off the bat they didn't know about that plan. Yep, you should have seen the look on their face. <laughs> Shocked. Shocked. If that music could play, that, that shocking music that'd be in every show, duh, that like that would have been it. Now let's not forget that Klaus and Elijah went into this thinking that they were going to yeah um, okay. turn the, uh, the turn tides. them against each other. Yeah. yeah. That's what they went into this dinner thinking that they would do. <laughs> Man, Klaus had a few surprises with them camis because uh, <laughs> when uh, Lucian started throwing in Cammy's name, um, shit, what's her throwing name? Throwing slugs. Aurora. Yeah, Aurora. Yeah, she just started looking like, oh, you got another bitch. <laughs> and, uh, and that boy, he, <laughs> the look that on his face, he like, like, he is about to kill Lucian right there on the spot. That boy looked like, like, man, you cock blocking. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, man, what they did to your girl, Rebecca, man. Yeah, Rebecca, she, she down there in the bottom of the ocean with some uh, under the sea under That's... under the sea mm -hmm. swimming with Gyarados and motherfucking uh little probably, mermaid little mermaid probably uh Poseidon Poseidon she she down Aquaman, there with, uh, all of them Olympic. Olympus? No, no. Atlantis. Ooh, Atlantis. That's what I'm thinking. Of. She, down, she down there with Atlantis, man. Yeah, oh, she's swimming man. with the fishes under the sea. And if y'all do watch the Vampire Diaries and remember what happened to Stefan when he was locked up in that box, yep. you know that's real messed up. Yeah, that really is. Although she is asleep, so she I wouldn't. I would assume she's not drowning. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh, damn, she asleep and drowning. That's yep. all fucked up. So, yeah, let's not forget Freya tried to locate her with uh, not just a, the usual locator spell, but she used a worldwide locator spell. A pound of blood. That was and, a lot yeah, of that was blood, blood. But it didn't work. She couldn't find it, so she got frustrated and joined the joined this uh table. Cool. Yep. Looked at Aurora when she said that she put in that ocean, she snapped that neck oh, real yeah, every, quick. Everybody got mad, really. Yep, that boy, uh, that boy Klaus looked like he was about to kill Aurora right there. Surprise! Yep. I was like, oh, sh and then Tristan looked like he was about to kill Freya. Mm -hmm. Then Elijah stopped that real quick, and Lucius just sits there looking. <laughs> My man Lucius is hilarious, though. <laughs> 
them faces that dude be making because he just be sitting there like he ain't scared but i know that nigga scared i'm telling you my my girl aurora she was making plays this episode oh yeah oh man telling y'all boy don't sleep on this girl this girl was the quarterback bro this girl had the plan had everything going Mm -hmm. on i'm talking when when she woke up from freya snapping that neck Mm -hmm. that's where we go to uh Oh yeah, that's when we go to the divide and conquer. Mm-hmm. So each well let's see. Klaus took um Tristan. Mm-hmm. Freya took Aurora. Mm-hmm. And Elijah took uh Lucian. Mm-hmm. And all three of them had their little things to say. So basically And Tristan well, with um, Klaus and Tristan, Tristan, it seemed like all three of them were trying to manipulate, well, you know, manipulate whoever besides Aurora. Mm-hmm. But I'll get to that. Um, yeah, with Tristan, it seemed like he was trying to manipulate Klaus into uh, putting his family to sleep. Yeah, a daggering them again. Yeah, and he was, you know, just saying like, oh, you could watch over their bodies while they're asleep, let this year pass. Mm-hmm. And once mm-hmm. that happens, we'll wake them back up. Yeah, you can wake them up good. if you want to. Yeah. And you know, I actually thought. Cl- well, <laughs> I'll go back. I'll wait. I'll wait till we go back later. Mm-hmm. But then going to Lucian, Lucian, Lucian was trying to convince Elijah how um, Klaus he, uh, he he might be the reason that they do fall. Yeah, because like he Elijah was basically saying that he always puts family first. But now that Aurora's like Lucian was like now that Aurora's back, you see how he's acting mm-hmm. and you know stuff like that. And as for Aurora, Man. she was just fucking with them up, really. Yeah, cause it was uh, who had her again? It was um yeah it was Freya, but Freya, then Haley yeah, had him. Brought, yeah, she brought Haley. Yeah, and I'm thinking was, oh like, hybrid and a witch. About I didn't, to whoop that ass. I didn't think so. I was like. Get this bitch out this episode. <laughs> Haley, you have nothing to do with this episode. Anyways, so they, they're they talking about torturing uh, torturing um, Aurora, and they do torture her, but this girl is enjoying this shit. Like, on some Harley Quinn shit. Like, I mean, all they do. What did they think? They just smacked her one time. I mean, I'm pretty sure they was beating her up, and then one was beating her up, Haley was beating her up, and uh, what you call it? Um, was doing all oh, that yeah, whole uh-huh. headache shit. Yeah, I so, mean she broke, she broke like she, she attacked them. I don't yeah. know. Was she even tied up? No, she wasn't tied. Oh, okay, up. well yeah, she starts fighting both of them, yeah. and she starts putting in work because Haley didn't really do anything, no. and then Freya she had to you know keep doing that magic, but she pushed the one time, knocked them to the wall, but you know they got control again. It was funny because I laughed when Haley was like. I'm gonna bite you. Let's see how. Let's see if you tell us what you want to know after I bite you. And she was just all like, "Oh, well, you can bite me as long as I can laugh in your face before I die." <laughs> I was like, "This, this girl, girl right here, Aurora. She she don't she don't give no fuck. The crazy award goes to you. Yeah. And so then that's when she reveals her little uh, secret plan mm-hmm. about Rebecca, and which is apparently. Two letters. Two letters. Early in the episode, um, Tristan was looking at that coffin that was supposed to come to him with Rebecca body in it, but mm-hmm. obviously, you know, Aurora took it. Mm-hmm. And in the coffin was two letters. Um, and Aurora said this is their insurance to make sure that nothing happens to them when they go to this dinner. Mm-hmm. She took one of the letters, he took one of them. Turns out the letters, each, well, one of the, I don't remember who, but one of them got the um, longitude mm-hmm. and the other one got the latitude. Yep, of Rebecca's yep. location. Yep. Which, because, you know, smart we were, to a degree. It was smart, but we were thinking this whole episode, why don't they just compel these niggas into telling them? Which they, they mentioned at the they table. They did mention. But I don't understand. I like I still don't understand what that means exactly. Cause when when they mentioned it at the table, Aurora said, "You think that we would get compelled by you after we was compelled a long time ago?" Yeah. And so when she said that, I was thinking that whatever it was in the envelopes was something that could prevent them from being compelled by them. Uh, no, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Which so, now makes me wonder. Do they have something that will stop them from being compelled? Yeah, I mean, they seem confident like that wasn't you know, gonna happen. Lucius has the the wolf bite cure, so maybe they would have something. But 
you know, after they revealed that one, that both of them have the key to where her location is, then I was just like, so now that you know that both of them have the the key to where she is, now couldn't you compel her to tell, to tell you the longitude and latitude? But this was the best part of this dinner right here, man. They After this, they go back to the table and they're like, well, okay, we just sit down. And you know, we're all talking and stuff, and then Klaus goes into that speech, and he's like, I forgot what exactly he said, but then he walks over to Elijah. I what thought he, he was about what he to said, <laughs> what he said was, um, what he said was, he hopes the decision he makes about which side he chooses isn't wrong, right? And when he said that, because he was looking at Elijah, and I was like, What the hell? Like, his face, like, What the hell is yeah, he, he talking about? He definitely made you seem like he was about to I turn. Thought he on was Elijah. about to stab Elijah with yeah. that stuff. Was that the little daggers he yeah, had? Yeah. I was like, oh man. But nope, instead he give that boy uh, Tristan a motherfucking bus driver uh, up a car. <laughs> nigga, I was thinking the same shit. Are we on the. <laughs> our brains are. Oh are man. In sync. I was just about to say that. Bus gave driver that boy a bus driver mm -hmm, up a cut. Mm -hmm. That and boy went to sleep real quick. That shit pissed uh, Roar off really, mm -hmm, really pissed mm -hmm. off. And he's like, you know, basically, I got your brother now, so you bring Rebecca's body, mm -hmm. but you ain't getting this, man. Mm -hmm. And she said you'll pay for it, which mm, I guess he is about to be paying for oh, it. Oh, yeah, he about to. Because after she leaves, she goes, finds Cammy, which Cammy was um, in Cam Lucius's yeah, he, spot. Yeah, he had another vampire. Oh, man, that's um, black guy. Yeah, he had another vampire <laughs> watching her, basically saying, don't let her out of sight. If I'm not back by a certain time, then just kill her. And so she was held up with him, you know, um, thinking of ways to escape. She even went as far as pretending like she was drunk and saying how yeah, she was Klaus. Real for that, though. That's yeah. like an honorable mention right there. And she was saying how Klaus is like really likes her, so she, he should be afraid to even be near her right now because if Klaus knew then he'd kill him but he didn't give a fuck but she she beat him she cut his fingers off the took that daylight ring yeah. and walked that one I mean ran out but yeah she <sighs> ran out and you know I what she was, she was safe one. man she was she was about to hop on that elevator and run down New Orleans streets in that <laughs> lingerie <laughs> shit she was wearing and she was about to go home and be safe and sound man but what happened mm -mm -mm. what happened when the elevator doors open x my girl aurora got her mm -mm -mm. what'd she say oh you must be cammy and you know what's funny after all this happened lucian was actually right now that i think about it because if cammy had stayed in that room and aurora did show up she wouldn't even have been able to get in the room Oh yeah, because remember Lucian had that uh, spell to where only his sire line could get in the room. Mm -hmm. Yep, so she would have been safe in that room till Klaus came and yeah, rescued her. But now Cammy's got her in the back of her trunk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh man. On a side note, Lucian did Lucian did uh, give Klaus the medallion. Yeah. Out of a sign of, I mean, out of a sign of um, loyalty. Yeah, but I don't know if sure. this is towards his plan. Because also, this is important too. Um, you know, Klaus was still looking for Cam. He was talking to Elijah, and Elijah, he was looking at the table, and this happens in the um, prediction. Yeah, in the previous episodes where they've looked at each other's uh, future. future, the way the table was set up. It was exactly like how they were showing it when they drunk the blood of that witch that was showing them. Yep, so it seems stuff. like their future is so still going the way Yeah, it's still on course. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Sucks for them. Yeah. Well, what'd you go ahead and give this episode, man? I give this episode, because of that bus driver up a cut Klaus <laughs> gave Tristan, <laughs> I'm going to give this episode two thumbs up. Wow, two thumbs up. Yeah, if I could, you know what? <sighs> That bus driver up a cut though. If I could give it three, I would, but I can't, so I'm gonna give it two. For that Freya line that Klaus used. H how does that line go? Freya! <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't care. Freya! For that line, 
for that bus driver slap uppercut neck break mm -hmm. that Klaus gave Tristan, mm -hmm. and for my girl Aurora making them plays this episode. All right, all right. I'll go ahead and give this one two and a half thumbs up because I, I'm just gonna give it that extra, okay. that extra thumb. All right, that's, that's cool been cut man. off or something. That that black man is gone. His fingers are gone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. But this has been our review of the Originals, Episode 7. And for more reviews on the Originals and other TV shows, be sure to hit the like, subscribe button, and have a safe holiday. Yep, make sure y'all eat a lot of turkey. And yep. we out. Deuces.